Well, hello and welcome to Play PKN, the weekly video bulletin of the top news stories on PKN Packaging News, Australia's media hub for the packaging industry. I'm PKN's publisher, Lindy Houston, and this week's episode is brought to you by Ball & Doggett, Australia's largest distributor of printable materials for packaging, the creator of the Ecoporium by Ball & Doggett platform, and a gold sponsor of the PKN Women in Packaging Awards. And that's where we'll start this week. The big news was our coverage of the inaugural Women in Packaging Awards event, which took place last Friday in Sydney. It was a triumphant occasion for sharing ideas, networking with industry changemakers and honouring outstanding leadership and contributions to the Australian packaging industry. The event featured a keynote address by Danielle Colley. She's a writer and integrative coach, and she spoke to the themes of resilience, self-love and, and self-compassion as keys to achieving empowered living. And we had a fireside chat with Freya Marsden, Chair of the Victorian Government Sustainability Fund, Chair of the Victorian Container Deposit Scheme, and an APCO board member, among many other roles. And she covered career milestones, industry challenges, and the importance of credibility and mentorship in the packaging sector. The award winners were chosen from a group of high-caliber finalists whose collective success marks positive steps forward for the packaging industry. Ahead of the main awards being announced, we announced a special Hall of Fame award, the recipient of which was nominated by the PKN team. And this award was presented to Nerida Kelton, the Executive Director of the AIP and Vice President Sustainability and Save Food for the World Packaging Organization. Winners were as follows. Jessica O'Donnell from Close the Loop Group won Communications Excellence category. Pippa Corey from Philo & Co. took out the Design and Branding Visionary Award. Joanne Howarth from Planet Protect Group was the Innovation Champion. Ellie King from Aurora Group won Manufacturing Leader. Nayela Derham from Amcor Flexibles won Packaging Technology Leader. And Marissa Altmaier from Perno Ricard Winemakers took out the Sustainability Leader category. A huge and warm congratulations to all. Another big story this week relates to the recent announcement of a pathway forward for soft plastics collection from Australia's Environment Ministers, which has been welcomed by the Australian Food and Grocery Council. Ministers confirmed their commitment to a circular economy for plastics established in Australia and noted progress on a roadmap to staged improvements in the harmonisation of curbside collection for soft plastics. And this will um, be reported back on to the Environment Ministers by the end of 2024. The CEO, Tanya Barden, said food and grocery manufacturers and retailers have already contributed resources in time and money to get an industry-led solution to soft plastic recycling on the national agenda. And the AFGC looks forward to continued collaboration to find a clear and consistent solution to packaging through upcoming consultation. Next up, PAC Group Chair Rafael Geminda has spoken out on plastics recycling in this market, commenting on how the sector could sink or swim with the incoming packaging laws being implemented. He said that to take Australia's plastics recycling industry to the next level, we need a shift in thinking across government, industry and society so that discarded plastic packaging is treated as a valuable resource as opposed to being treated as waste. He said that he wholeheartedly supports the intent of the planned laws when it comes to plastic, but there are concerns in the local recycling sector about potential unintended consequences if the laws and design standards do not adequately incentivize the use of Australian-made recycled content products. It makes worthwhile reading. You'll find it on the sustainability section in our website. Then Australia's table grape industry is about to undergo a major transformation with the introduction of a plug and play traceability solution designed to enhance exports to Southeast Asian markets. The Australian Table Grape Association has received funding through the federal government's National Agriculture Traceability Grants Program dedicated to fostering robust traceability practices in Australian agriculture. Result Group, which was the company that launched the initial pilot in 2022, is now creating a comprehensive traceability solution for the entire table grape industry. The new plug and play solution will be available to all growers, regardless of their business size or traceability requirements, and it will streamline compliance and operational processes digitally through existing platforms. A few other news snippets before we go. The barcode is turning 50 this month and a scanniversary is being marked by the Barcode Authority GS1 Australia. 
Biopack has introduced the new Leaf Nature series in collaboration with Rainforest Rescue. The updated design for the iconic Leaf Biocup originally launched in 2006 was revealed ahead of World Rainforest Day which took place on the 22nd of June and it includes three new leaf designs. And then the AIP will be running a panel at the upcoming National Food Waste Summit, which will focus on safe food packaging. The panel will be moderated by Executive Director Nerida Kelton. The summit runs from the 24th to the 25th of July at the MCEC in Melbourne. This session will be on the 25th of July at 2.15pm at the main stage. PKN will be there to cover it. And finally, just a reminder to look out for our exclusive announcement on the finalists of the Australian Packaging Innovation and Design Awards, the PEDAS, that are run by the AIP, which will come out later today around 2 p.m. Well, that's all from me for this week. For more details on today's headlines, you know where to go. Head over to packagingnews.com.au. Thank you, as ever, for watching.